Good morning, starshine. The earth says hello. Let me put this very clear. I do not know how to draw, but I always liked to play with oil pastels since I was very little. And I discovered that as long as I'm following a tutorial, my drawings became pretty good, I will say. This video is my journey as an oil pastel beginner. What I use are oil pastels, which are basically crayons but a bit more softer. I use Pentel 25 color set. I only have two notebooks. The first one is my old one, which has very thin paper without any texture and nothing special really. And my second notebook is a watercolor notebook. Ironically enough, I'm very bad at watercolor, so I use these very thick papers with oil pastels. Most of my drawings here are Chibasaki Sensei's tutorial and somewhere in my crappy original work. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you my journey looking and trying different tutorials from other artists. I'm gonna give a small opinion on if the tutorial is comfy enough for me or not comfy enough for me, maybe you'll find something better for yourself. And I shall try with all my might to explain technique. Yeah, let's try to look for our first video. I noticed that most of these videos look very complex. And I want to start easy, so... The Basics of Oil Pastels by Let's Create Something He made this video 5 years ago, I wonder if he has something newer Mmm, let me show, let me show, let me show I'ma look in this playlist if see if he got any pastel collection The reason why I do this is because most of YouTube artist tutorials do art with plenty of other materials and it would be more comfy for me to have a playlist of oil pastels instead of looking one by one in his whole history of videos for the tutorial I'm looking for. So I am a bit sad that I don't have a playlist, but that's okay. This is me trying to look for more oil pastels tutorials from Let's Create Something. And I found one, I found one, but of dry pastels. Mm, but, uh, what are dry pastels anyway? Damn it, now I have to google it. What's the difference between oil pastels? The first difference is that oil pastels are current smells or razor bone dust and the pastels do. Oh, I get it. Excuse you, I'm gonna go and take a wee and watch my cat while he refuses to drink the water that he asked me for. Drink the water, Rolo. Drink it. Look, I made myself a coffee. Uh, I drank it. Now let's look for a page to draw in. A page, a clean page, where? Uh, here. He drew a flower, but that is it. There, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna draw with these fancy pens. I don't know which size that is. Nice flower. Let's start. Nice and easy flower, and now we erase it. Bye bye flower. Let's start with white. Nice white to blend everything later. Is much a little bit sunny orange to draw only the tips of the flower, cause I'm a rebel like that. Look at all that hatching, wow! 
He put some kind of intermediate chrome yellow in between. Now I'm gonna remind you that you don't have to draw all the color all the way. You just need to do it partially just because the blendability is gonna be better between the colors. Now let's grab some red and what is this? Is this vermilion? Wow. Is this orange? Is this red? Nobody knows. By the way, keep the crayons like this so you can remind yourself which crayons you used. Let's go with the red in the edges two times apparently to make it strong enough. It's blending time and remember use one finger for each color like he said in the tutorial. Oopsie poopsie I forgot this fold of the flower. I'm just gonna put it here. Yeah, yes, no, yes, no, yeah, yeah I'm gonna put it right there. I tried to scrape the color off but it didn't work. So I'm just gonna add some weight. Now it's time for that beautiful background and I'm gonna grab the green and for some reason I started to be confusion about which blue am I gonna choose for the background as well. So I'm you're just gonna see me here trying to be like what the what the heck do I do? Like uh, um okay I I apparently chose one so let's go with green. And this is just random scribbling. At the end of this video, I'm gonna explain all the technique. Have you ever cleaned up your notebook and this happens? Oh no, we present to you this revolutionary product called the brush. Look how fast it cleans. Wow. We use some of the cobalt blue and right now my fingers are fearing for their lives. Because we keep blending and blending and blending, help. Since we are using the old thin paper, it's having a lot of fallout and I need to clean up a lot. Now let's grab that beautiful red and let's go over the edges once more. And immediately we have to blend them out again. <laughs> this, this creator likes blending a lot. Now let's do all... The details in the center of the flower. I need to get the naked that white. I go over and over again with the white because I can barely see it. Where is it? Where is it? You tell me where is it? My fingers need therapy. <laughs> you know what time it is. It's time for red. And oh my goodness, let's create something sad. You can do whatever you want at this point. So I'm gonna do it. Let's grab that weird ass vermilion and let's do a lot of hatching and cross hatching. That is a technique. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I don't care. And let's go over with the red. Just a little bit here and there. Let's grab that orange as an intermediate color and see how I'm just putting it here and there, not all over the place. Now a little bit of yellow orange as a blending and again I'm not blending everywhere as you can see I'm blending just a few parts here and there. Your heart will tell you what to do, trust me. Chrome yellow as blending again. That means I'm heavy pressuring so the colors can all blend together. Looking good, looking good. Some ye lemon, lemon yellow to highlight whatever I want to highlight. I try to go to those annoying as dots once more and again with another color. And no matter what I do, I cannot see them, not white enough. I blend a little bit with my finger just to make a few patches non-visible, just to make a little bit of texture in the petals. And now let's go back to the tutorial and let's add those lines that are in red. As you can see, I made it thicker in the tip 
and as far as I go deeper in the flower it goes thin and thinner. What in the tarnation is that cobalt blue? Oh my goodness, don't you dare miss it. Oh, what is that? No. From this point on, I totally lost my mind and I used ultramarine, the forbidden color, to just grab it and do whatever in the background because this is not in the tutorial. I repeat, this is not in the tutorial, the professional tutorial, you know, the one that we were supposed to follow. Why am I so angry? <laughs> Those random vines um, that were made for the background, I decided to make it with that. Uh, I forgot that what color it was, what kind of blue I mean. Then we go ahead again with the green and see how this time I'm not blending out with the fingers. That phenomenon happens when you wanna make a nice background with a little color. You see that the sky is not fluorescent blue, the sky is like a little bit blue. And the things that are closer to you have more color. The things that are gonna have the most color are the things you wanna be the focus point of your drawing. And here's me grabbing more colors and doing more stuff, adding more detail some tiny grass with this dead green i scratched with the palette just to make a little bit of texture that it didn't work really and I, finally i grabbed some chrome yellow to do some circles just like in the tutorial big medium and small Ta -da! it is done my son the mission is complete i don't know what to talk about now I don't remember what I edit in this video. Oh yeah, my hand hurt pretty bad in the end. Oh, by the way, these are the colors that I use. Is this useful? Is this not? We don't know. Why in the heck did I make this so long? I don't remember. Oh yeah, let's talk about techniques. Light pressure blend. Light pressure blend means you don't apply much pressure. This is me putting a lot of pressure. Light pressure blend works very good when you wanna blend with your finger. See how nice and easy, well not that nice because it's in this paper. If you blend with your finger in a lot of color, you are only gonna strip out the color, which is useful when you wanna make texture. Now, I saw in this video a lot of hatching, cross-hatching, and especially scribbling. This is hatching. This is cross-hatching. And this is scribbling. Simple. Now, the important part that I saw a lot was shade and tint. Tint means that you put a light color as base, and on top of it, you put a heavy color. We did this in the beginning. This is the normal color. Now let's do shade. Shade is the other way around when you put a heavy color and on top a light color. Easy busy. And my favorite of all time is a lot of layering, especially in the flower. Why? Because I wanna highlight the flower as the main point of the drawing. Layering is in the name. You just layer colors over and over. You put shades, you put the highlights over and over again in the same point. And with all that, you just create a bunch of undertones and new colors in the drawing. So that's why I like it so much. Here are all the techniques. Remember to watch part also of this video. Bye!